Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is kind of an interesting video I have for you guys today. We're taking a look at three pretty cool attacks. This one especially I wanted to show to you guys. Pekka's at Town Hall 10, four of them getting the job done here. The base is a little bit unusual, which I think allows for it. You can see the Infernos are very offset down towards the bottom right side of the base. So that kind of allows for this to work, but um, kind of the theme of this video is just creativity with your attacks at Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 have both Town Halls present in this video. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Um, just so you guys know, I, well, I, you know, I'm trying to do a base build video for Town Hall 9. I think that's something that I've been talking about doing for a while and I want to see if I can, you know, make a base that is solid against the current meta, which is a lot right now, you know, loons, all that good stuff. So. I, I'm going to do my best to get that out soon. Um, I know I've been saying that for a while, but hopefully that'll become true soon. Uh, but back to this attack here, you can see the healers work out very well because the Infernos are so far away. The Pekkas will get that benefit of the heal for a while, plus the Rage right there as soon as the healers step up into it. Um, gets double value both on his initial troops, then the healers as they step up into it. Has some bowlers, the funnel's good, his hero's moving through. Um, I don't even think he drops a jump, just lets them go right through that wall. So trusts the, you know, the pathing. Works out very nicely, doesn't need the jump, so can invest in more rages and stuff. Um, his troops stepping up right here. I think he's lost two of the three healers, but even the one healer does a good job um, keeping his troops up. Right here they encounter the Infernos, so the heal effect is going to be gone for the most part, but here um, he can kind of, you know, use those hit points all the troops have to really stay up for a while. Pops the King's ability, the Queen goes down. Did he miss her ability? I didn't catch it. He might have used it. I'm not sure. Hogs coming in from the side just to take out these defenses. These little nooks of the base that the uh, rest of the troops can't quite reach. Has that freeze still left over. I guess he was saving that for whatever Inferno wasn't going to go down. So, um, you know, maybe wasn't exactly planned, but knew it would be good to have it at some point. And does a great job freezing the cannon and the Inferno there. The Pekkas, like I said, they have some, you know a good amount of HP. They're able to stay up. The walls do make it tough. These are very high level walls. This is a very high level base, almost maxed out for Town Hall 10. Had the level three Infernos, few balloons right there was nice. Um, but this is a tough base and he gets the job done. So not, not an easy base by any standards and has a ton of troops left up. The Hogs, the Pekka, the King, um, bowler, some wizards, the balloons, and even that baby dragon. So a lot left over. Awesome attack. Wanted to show that because it's something that's very different at Town Hall 10. And with these, you know, new ways to defend air, I think that's opening doors for new strategies. And uh, that's evident in that attack as well as some others. Um, next one, not a, a huge. Well, actually, never mind. This is the dragon one. I have a dragon one. Then like another uh, Pekka Town Hall 9 attack. So we'll take a look at the dragon one first. Um, and like I said, creativity, um, we're seeing people, cause both at town hall nine and town hall 10, the meta, you know, what's working well is La Lune, the Lava Hound balloon combination. So we're seeing all kinds of ways that base builders are changing their designs to defend against it. Like we saw in the last, last attack, um, and here at town hall nine still, we're seeing people put their air defenses offset and try to keep their queen, you know, in a weird place. All these different strategies to defend it opens up other stuff. So we have train, heavy, train something, uh, coming at this base with the queen walk at the top, getting the first air defense, he'll come around for the second one as well. There's the king, uh, just drops him down. I think the king will get in there, just create the funnel for the most part. I don't think he'll get the queen taken out. Uh, right there, the CC lure, they come out, the, his, his queen will take care of them. Uh, the Valk runs towards the king. Like I said, doesn't get the defensive queen with the king, but the dragons are making their way, way through, has the lava hound and a few balloons. First thing they target, because the queen took out a few other uh, buildings in the way, so they get in there, get that air defense real quickly. The Lava Hound actually runs around for a while, I think soaks up a few air traps, which is nice before it explodes. But the main force of dragons making their way through, um, he didn't do a zap quake, which is sometimes a good thing. If you can find other ways to get most of the air defenses taken out, that allows you to, to invest the heals, the rages, all that stuff in the dragons. Um, the Tesla farm is very common now to see them on the outside of the base here. This one was kind of protecting the queen, but if you know where they are, or if you're at least able to uh, have some troops left up at the end of the attack, you can still get them taken out. 
um, even though they can be deadly in some situations. So the dragons make their way through. The one on the right side there will go down to the Tesla, but the queen is still up, and that's the important part. The queen, um, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, if you have her up after the main part of the base has been taken out, that's going to be your most powerful asset, especially when there's a healer or two left on her, because it's very hard to take out a queen. Um, she has the ability, the healers, and if some of that stuff isn't exhausted yet, it really um, makes it difficult for just defenses, only a few of them left up if they're not grouped up, which they often aren't at the end of the attack, to take the queen out. But um, regardless, he has a few dragons as well, and they all converge on these last few buildings to take them out. So nice job uh, to train there on that one. By the way, you can see the war as we back out here. Um, Good job to Immoral Thieves, a three-star victory against uh, Pinoy Bandidosi. I know I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong, but um, good fought war, uh, so good, good job to both clans. Let's take a look at this final attack. I think it was 33, if I remember correctly. Chicken Little, yeah, not a huge variation, but uses the P.E.K.K.A., which I think is worth pointing out, because it's his own P.E.K.K.A. He's bringing the bowlers, and I think... On most attacks, bowlers are what you want to bring at Town Hall 9, unless you're doing an attack that's not very kill squad based or, you know, something like that where you're not really entering the base with the big kill squad. It's mainly like a Laloon, a Penta, or something like that. You want to bring the bowlers. They are tremendous value at Town Hall 9. They're way more powerful, I'd say, than like Max Valks or even the Max Pekka. The bowlers are just, very, they're Town Hall 11 troops. Uh, that you can bring at Town Hall 9, which is something you want to take advantage of. So he brings the bowlers in the CC and brings his own P.E.K.K.A., but I think the P.E.K.K.A. has value because it just adds that, it adds the extra damage, but it also adds the HP. The Golems, of course, are going to be tanking, but sometimes it helps to have your HP also do quite a bit of damage. That way, um, if there's a giant bomb combination, like two go off at once, there's no risk of losing all your damage um, in like one catastrophe. Uh, the king is similar. He can, you know, work well as well. But the P.E.K.K.A. just adds a little more insurance that you have some reliable DPS. The bowlers are pretty reliable, but they are subject to getting targeted, getting taken out. So sometimes the P.E.K.K.A. is a good investment, especially at Town Hall 9 when it's a little bit easier to three-star at this current state in the game. Um, sometimes settling for the P.E.K.K.A. can just ensure you get that three-star. There's not going to be as much risk involved. Um, still not a huge, hugely popular troop, but I think it's underrated at Town Hall 9 and maybe even Town Hall 10 after that last attack we saw, although it seems pretty base-specific at Town Hall 10, at least for the most part and for the time being. So nice attack of Chicken Little. That Lava Hound will explode and the pups will be a little bit of a nuisance, but at this point, pretty much all the buildings are down, so it doesn't matter anyway. Actually, will the Lava Hound explode? Yeah, right there. Um, the pups get to watch the base get three-starred. They actually don't even die because the, all the buildings are gone. So nice stuff there. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, three attacks, three very interesting attacks, I think, and uh, something for you Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s to make note of because the meta is always subject to change. And as bases develop, it's worth you know thinking about creative ways to take out the base because um, they allow for certain things when they're defending against a, a very powerful meta. Uh, not to say La Loon isn't still something you should go with because it definitely is, but these opportunities are sometimes there to, uh, to add a little bit more, uh, something creative to your attacks. Makes it more fun as well, but um, priorities are three stars, I guess. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.